Hey there, Saints. Pastor Dave here with another weekly devotional for you. Happy Easter. We are into Easter tide now. Uh, we celebrated last Sunday the day of resurrection, and we heard the uh, Easter account from Luke's gospel. Uh, today I want to read from the message translation of John's account, uh, and following from after they uh, come to the tomb and find it empty, this is what occurs with the disciple Mary. Now Mary stood outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she knelt to look into the tomb and saw two angels sitting there, dressed in white, one at the head, one at the foot of where Jesus' body had been laid. They said to her, Woman, why do you weep? They took my master, she said, and I don't know where they put him. After she said this, she turned away and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't recognize him. Jesus spoke to her, Woman, why do you weep? Who are you looking for? She, thinking that he was the gardener, said, Mister, if you took him, tell me where you put him so I can care for him. Jesus said, Mary. Turning to face him, she said in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means my teacher. Jesus said, Don't cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go to my brothers and tell them, I ascend to my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went, telling the news to the disciples, I saw the master, and she told them everything that he had told her. You know, one of the lines in that account has always sounded strange to me, that Jesus tells Mary, don't cling to me, for I have not ascended to the Father. Don't, don't hold on to me, Mary. It's, it's not the right time. And it's so weird because so much of the rest of our lives we say, yeah, yeah, hold on tight to God, cling to God no matter what's going on. You know, whatever you're dealing with, however bad it gets, hold on to Jesus. He will get you through it. And here Jesus says to Mary, let me go. You've got to let me go. I wonder what that means to you. I, I don't know how you might hear that or how you might understand that. Uh, based on whatever situation you might be in. But I think it's interesting and I think it's important for us to reflect that there might be times when we can't hold on to Jesus, that we would only hold him back from what it is he needs to be doing. That for Mary in that moment, he, she, she would be preventing him from finishing the work that he's doing, going back to the Father. I wonder if there are ways that we hold on to Jesus sometimes and in so doing prevent him from the work that he needs to do. I don't know, maybe it's a conception of God or of Jesus. Maybe it's a, our own human understanding of what he cares about or, or what's important to him. But maybe there are ways that we cling to Jesus and, and hold him back and control him and don't allow him to do what he needs to do. I wonder if you'll think about that this week, saints. How could you perhaps let Jesus go and free him up to be able to be the savior that he needs to be? That's your devotional for this week. I hope it's something worth thinking about. I hope you're doing all right and staying healthy. Uh, I will see you again soon, saints. I'm praying for you. Keep on praying for me. Take care. Bye-bye.